would say he was more than a father. He he had he was many things to us. He was a he was our mentor. He was our leader. He was a friend. And uh, my association personally, I think the story is too long to get into now. But he transformed me completely. He knew me more than I knew myself. And as the years progressed, he brought me up with so much love and so much care and a foundation in such strong principles that those things, although he's no longer here, but those things is what will carry us through. And his being is in each and every one of us. And he's taught us. He, he took a back seat, just so you know, quite a few years ago, so that we would move forward. He would not travel much for the concerts, hardly, because he wanted us to grow. And I dare say the Shillong Chimba Choir, he's built it now that it can stand on its own. And as he hated anything that was stagnant, we too will not just uphold the name of the Shillong Chimba Choir, but we will take it forward and it shall prosper even more. And that is the the leader that Akhri was. We were with him in Mumbai. We were with him in Mumbai. Uh, can you tell us about the uh, last days? His last days, you know, he was he was actually very well. And uh, we had 33 songs to record for our new spiritual album that was coming. It was a gift to the world. His, it was a deep desire in his heart for many years to give a spiritual album. And he said something, once we've done the spiritual album, you see how much God will bless the other work as well. And uh, finished those 33 songs on the time that he was about to go for the operation, he, I went, I was with him, I was with Ah as well, me and him were with, with Uncle Neil. And he said, Uncle Neil, the sopranos have finished all the songs. That means the main voice. And he just smiled. And with that comfort, he knew that it was going to happen. We, he, he's not, he doesn't really show much himself in video, but this time you'll see him on the piano, uh, where he always loved to be. And uh, we did some video shoots and all of that. It was such a memorable, but at the same time, there was a certain haste in him because he's such a spiritual man. And he could see far beyond what we could see. And he knew that something was going to happen. He was in such a hurry to finish this, to finish that, to imbibe more and more of, of God in all of us. And I dare say that he has fulfilled it. And uh, he has given his everything. And at a wonderful age of 51 he is now with the one who he loved the most and that is Jesus so yeah that's what I would say can you also tell us about his music yeah his music there'll be none like him one thing I'm sure will be irreplaceable is the way he played the piano he was not virtual in the sense of you know doing some fantastic this and fantastic that he hardly practiced anymore because he was so used to giving his life for the sake of others. Music was down the line. Just because of work, he would just, you know, start composing and this and that. But his piano playing is unmatched simply because of the depth of his soul. And his touch on the piano, I've not heard. I can dare say this. I've not heard. And the way he plays it and the soul behind it is absolutely irreplaceable. And uh, of course, his composition skills. He's, you, you don't know where he's going and where he's coming from. He's full of wit, full of inventiveness. He can't bear medleys happened, and it's IUSB now. It simply happened because he couldn't bear to listen to the same song from beginning to end. He had to put something else there to keep, you know, changing things around. And he's taught that to us. And a lot of the medleys that you now hear are actually not even written by him. They're written by Iba, by Kevi, some by the choir members, and he just supervises and sees things but hardly you know will he will he say uh, will he change much because he knew that we also had to grow so that was the the man that he was he did not he made sure that it did not end with him it was just something that he was there to push us forward now. and yeah how uh, is the choir now i mean what is the way forward now in the absence of the mestro the way forward like i said uh, he has already done so much for us while just being there in the background and that legacy will continue just one thing in itself the amount of unpublished work that is there is humongous humongous i must tell you and there's a giant album which is just lying there which we want to release there's a spiritual album which we want to release there is um, 
uh, there is uh, so many Khasi songs. Then the biggest thing of all, his opera, which he has been working on for almost 20 years now, and that is Solangyan. And that is, I, I dare say, it is on the verge of completion. And we will get people involved. We plan to get the, the government involved in this as well and make it one of the biggest exports of our country to the rest of the world. And uh, there's, 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 so, there's immense amounts of that. And the future for the choir is, like I said, he will not want us to remain where we are. He will want us to grow further and further. And, and we will do that. And there's a burning flame inside each one of us to pursue that because he's taught us enough. He left us at the right time, I would dare say. You know, although we'll miss him and we're grieving tremendously. But what a man. He, he made sure that uh, things did not go with him. We will remember him and how he did things and how he, the traditions, the... But I'll tell you one thing. The music I know will carry on and it will prosper. Yeah. The school, this the, is an announcement. the shop, uh, and we, we know that, I say this in faith, but uh, the seating in the indoor the thing that uh, hall has been kept especially will be the biggest mountain for us uh, is how he was a life-giving spirit every single day of his life. So he lived for the sake of others. That. Thank you so much. And that is something which that all the family you know, members it's one it's one thing to do it for one week or one month or even a year. But every uh, day, home. fifteen okay. years he lived for the sake of others and that requires tremendous level of selflessness. And uh, that is uh, what is going to be our biggest task.